The iOS 18 is out for all iPhone devices that are eligible starting from iPhone XR to the latest iPhone 16 series. Let me share with you my top 10 most favorite, most exciting new features of iOS 18. It has something to do with Apple intelligence because Apple intelligence is going to come on iOS 18.1, uh, which is still on beta right now. I'm going to start with the one that nobody, <laughs> I've not seen anybody talk about this. Let's start with the legals. So if you're coming from iOS 17 and you just upgraded to iOS 18, you will have to agree to the new terms of service for iCloud. If you do not agree to the new terms and conditions of the iCloud services, you will not be able to use iCloud, open iCloud menu, even find my phone will not be able to work. Of course, I tried to go in and read it, but come on, it was too long. Scrolling down was like jumping into bottomless speed. But somehow I was able to get to the bottom of the matter. I agreed so that I can share this video with you. Now let's jump to the exciting part. I'm going to start with the dark theme and icons. I mean, I have to merge a lot of things together because they are so exciting. I've never been excited as a core Android user seeing the depths of customization on the dark theme and the icons on iOS 18. Apple have added another layer of customization. Now you can change the icon separately from the general dark team mode. Yes, you can now tweak the icon, whether you want the icons to be on dark team, light team, or kind of tinted. There are a few things that were added. You can edit widgets, you can customize, or you can add pages. So there is general dark team, you know, and there is icon and widget dark team. Now, though it's confusing at first, so, but when you go into here, you can set it automatic, you know, so that it follows whatever you switch on, or you can set it light or dark, uh, or generally so, or you can set it tinted. So I feel this is a very good, you know, improvement or addition to customization or layers of customization on the iPhone like never before. Next on my list is wallpaper customization. Come on, the iOS 18 came with some interesting wallpapers that can be customized and there are a whole lot of effects. If you're using the planetary bodies, there are effects and upon effects and upon effects, upon tweaks and tweaks. Most favorite for me is the fact that I can use the same wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen, but then I can actually apply a blur effect on the home screen that I don't go to see the whole uh, wallpaper, but I feel the color and the background. And when there's a lock screen, I get to see all of them. Now, this is very interesting. Moving on number three is the lock screen customization and thank God. And when I mean thank God, right now you can be able to add something else to your lock screen that is not camera or touch light, you know, depending on your need. I mean, most iPhone users have become used to the camera and touch light, but yes, right now on iOS 18, you can actually change that. There are a whole lot of some tweaks in the icons and all that on the lock screen, but yes, you can add some other shortcut to your lock screen that is not camera and flashlight. The next one is actually very, very, very interesting to me because right now in iOS 18, you can rearrange your icons, move it around and move it where you want to and place it the way you want. And it is very, very, very interesting. But much more than that, there is another thing that has been introduced to icon and widgets. Where you press and hold down the icon on iOS 18, it gives you option for icon and widgets, you know, depending on the developer. When you pick the widgets, it shifts other icon and put the widget. And and there could be more than one widget depending on the developer and where you put it it shares the widget and when you go back to icon it moves out from the widgets back to the icon rearrange them back the way it was which is very interesting in my eyes not every app has this on function especially for the streaming apps i checked and they didn't have but youtube does have one widget uh, option and once you switch back to icon it also brings back every other icon around <laughs> before the move uh, which is interesting also you can press and hold down the home page and then press on edit pages so you can now select the page you want to edit in the home page uh, without having to swipe around so this is very very useful and you can also see all the icons on the pages before you start doing that the next one is groundbreaking yes it has to do with the camera now you can actually pause a video while you're recording i mean how have people i mean been using iphone for 18 years and unable to pause a video recording and continue instantly you know without doing retakes or cuts and record again 
Well, it's now available. Yes, on the left, you have an option to pause and continue record. On the right, you can also snap while you are recording. And it's good that it finally came to iOS, <laughs> thanks to iOS 18. The next one is the all new redesign of the photo app. Well, if you're coming from iOS 17, there are a whole lot of things that have changed. It could be a new learning curve for you. Now you can see select on the photo app home instead of going to press menu to bring it out. Now you can have other albums arrangements. Now, if you click on a video, it plays continuously on a loop uh, instead of <laughs> the way it used to be. So it could be very different from what it used to be in the previous photo app. But I believe that some of them are very, very, very useful on the new photo app. There's now an option to filter where you have the years, the months and the day. And now you can sort alphabet you can sort not by date now but additionally when a photo was added to your photo album you can now filter uh, remove screenshot or see only screenshot or see only photo there are a whole lot of you know useful things that as you begin to go into it you will really enjoy about this all new redesigned photo app on the iOS 18. Did I forget to add there is now hidden folder where you can hide all your you know hideable things that you don't want anybody to see interesting that's also available on this new uh, redesigned photo app the control center has got some interesting tweaks now you now have pages in the control center so you can have the first page for your control center the second one maybe for your media the third one for other controls and you can even add more and more layers on your control center if you're coming from ios 17 on the control center there has been a redesign you can now add individual controls for Bluetooth, for hotspot, for network, and even airplane mode. So you can add it so that you can easily press it once you open up your control center. Another one that most people have not talked about is the Wi-Fi sharing with QR code. Now this has been on Android for many years and I enjoy it. I don't remember my password. When I want to connect from another device to another device, I just bring it, scan it, and then I will just connect the device. It makes it so easy. But right now in the new password app, you know, it's redesigned a little bit. Now when you go to the password app on iPhone um, being on iOS 18, and then you click on the Wi-Fi, you can actually scan the QR code of a Wi-Fi that you are connected to. You can also scan QR code for saved Wi-Fi that are not available and you can now save it to another device so that once the Wi-Fi is within range, you can just connect to it. Very, very, very useful if you ask me. Of course, if you've been enjoying this video, this might be a good time to click on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon to get more videos like this. And of course, you can share this with your friends who have iPhone and iOS 18 so they can really, really see some of the great new features uh, on the iOS 18. Next on our list is T9 dialing. And if you don't know what T9 dialing means, it means that when you type the name of a contact on your keypad, it will find the corresponding number to the name that was dialed. This has been on Android for over 15 years. I don't know why it hasn't been there on iOS, but right now it's here. I did compare it um, <laughs> to that of Android earlier video when it came out in the beta. And you can check out that video if you want to. And then you can also now search in the recent, which is very interesting. It wasn't there before in iOS 17. It's there now in iOS 18. You can search to get whatever number that you're looking for. Let's begin to wrap it up with the calculator app. Yes, the iPhone calculator app on the iOS 18 now has the option for you to go back in case there is error in your entry when you're trying to calculate something. So you can now just use the arrow back button to go back instead of clearing the whole stuff you're calculating and starting afresh. And this is very, very useful. You know, I used to, maybe because of my big long fingers, I used to make some errors while entering some entries into the calculator and sometimes I'll just clear everything and start afresh. There is now option to see the history also. There's another menu that gives you option for convert. Ah, the calculator on the iOS 18 is becoming very useful, like it should be, yes. So um, that's about that, but let me just add up some few other things. There are a whole lot of other things that are there. I probably will do a video later when I'll give 
every simple every single new feature i'll show you how to do it but i'm just giving you the ones i use regularly and excite me now some of the extras would be uh the one in the battery yes if you are using a slow charger right now and you go to the battery uh set its settings and battery you will now see option that you're using slow charger and during the moment your phone charge with slow charger it will be on amber you know this is very good for battery health to tell you that you know you need a decent charger to charge your phone effectively so yeah let me hear from you if you're already on ios 18 which one is your favorite i didn't mention or which one do you like of course i'm looking forward to the ios 18.1 where the apple intelligence will come apple intelligence is still in the beta apple is working on it and i believe they are going to bring something competitive uh when it's finally launched on ios 18.1 let me hear from you in the comment section um are you getting uh, ios 18 are you getting iphone 16 make sure you like share and until i see you in the next one it is peace to our world. Subscribe. I'll see you.